Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to The Blind Life, where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. Today we are taking a second look at the CK Mova LCM6 Lavalier Microphone. So I say second look, and we'll get to that here in a second, but first I'd like to thank CK Mova for sending out this microphone, uh, a second microphone. <laughs> I always like to say that although they sent it out, they don't get to dictate what I say about it or influence any of my opinions about it, and they don't get to view the video prior to posting on the channel. Now, I've already done a video about this lavalier microphone. You might have seen that one, um, and it wasn't great. The sound quality was was not good at all. CK Mova reached out to me and they said that that's not the way it's supposed to sound. Something was clearly wrong with that particular unit that I received. So they said, you know, can we send out another unit and you give it another shot? And I said, yeah, absolutely. And if it turns out that that was a bad unit, I'll be happy to take that video down and make a new one. All right, so in the box, you get the lavalier itself. The lavalier has a lapel clip or clothing clip. There's also a small windscreen for the microphone. The main section of the microphone, the cable, is probably about 10 feet long. You have a control box here that is rechargeable. So this does use, does need its own power, so you'll have to remember to charge it up. So you, you also get a charging cable. We'll talk a little bit more about the control box here in a minute. Um, the end of the microphone is a two millimeter plug. You also get a four millimeter plug adapter if you have a device that requires a four millimeter plug. Then you get an extension cable. Uh, this basically is about a 20 foot cable and will allow you to extend your microphone much further away and be able to put a little distance between you and the camera. Uh, and then finally you get a kind of a leather feeling, probably faux leather carrying bag for everything. All right, so let's get to some demonstrations and comparisons. Right now I'm using the Rode Video Micro on my Canon camera. Uh, if you know anything about Canon, you know they don't have the best preamps inside the camera, built into the camera. Um, I, throughout all of these tests, I'm not going to be changing any of the audio in the camera, or any of the audio settings within the camera. And I'm not going to be changing any of the audio settings in post-processing. So this is going to be a straight microphone to microphone comparison. Okay, now we're using the CK Mova LCM6, wearing the lapel, I'm wearing it the same way that I do all the time. We'll see what this sounds like as far as moving around, <laughs> clothing noise, see if we're picking up anything there. Well, what do you guys think? How does it sound? I have it set to camera mode, obviously, because we're plugged into a camera. You can set this also to smartphone mode, and it says that it does also work with PCs and Macs as well. We have a couple settings on this microphone. First one is I can turn it all the way off. So I'm gonna do that. And now we're back on. This also has a low pass filter uh, that will let some of the more of the bassy notes come through and cut out some of the really high notes. Now I'm not entirely sure which one is the low pass filter and which is not. Uh, but here, we'll try there. This is the other setting. Um, so one is a low pass and one is not. You guys tell me which one sounds better. In my testing previously, I kind of think this one sounds better to me. So we're just going to leave it on that for now. But uh, the other thing is you have a volume. So I can turn down the volume I can, or I can adjust the volume right here on the controller. Turn that all the way back up. This is maximum volume. And I'll, I'll mention also that if I change anything in post-processing, it'll be mainly to, maybe to turn down the gain so that all the audio isn't clipping and it's not too loud. But then finally on the controller here, you have a headphone jack, which is fantastic. Uh, you can plug in some headphones and moder monitor the audio of the microphone. So if you're in an interview setting, for example, and you want to make sure that your on-screen talent 
isn't too loud, isn't clipping, it just sounds really good. You can do that through the headphone jack on the controller here. Okay guys, now we're outside and we're testing out the different microphones. Uh, it's pretty noisy out here. There's a garbage truck, there's some kids playing, the wind's blowing. Hey, so this might be a good test, if you guys can hear me at all. So right now I'm using the Rode Video Micro shotgun microphone, once again sitting on top of my camera. I'm about six feet, about two meters away from the camera. So the benefit of the Rode Video Micro or any kind of shotgun microphone is the convenience. You just plug it in, sits on the camera, and you just go. The downside is though that the further you get back, the harder it is to hear. So it's probably much more difficult to hear me way back here than it was up there, especially with all the other noise, the ambient noise. Okay, so now we are plugged in with the CK MOVA wired lavalier directly into the camera. Obviously you can tell I'm a little closer because I can't get that far back with just the main cable here. Once I plug in the extension cable, should be no problem. But we'll see how this sounds. We've got some wind once again, some sirens in the back, something going on. But this is the CK MOVA. What do you guys think? Let's check out the low pass filter. So if I click, this is the low pass filter. What I think is the low pass filter. Once again, I'm not sure. Oh, we got some strong wind now. As I said before, I'm not gonna be changing any of the audio settings in the camera. I am using a different camera than I was inside. This is a Sony camera, which has a little bit better preamps built in than the Canon cameras. And here it is with the microphone plugged directly into a smartphone. So how does that sound? Sound about the same? And this is how it sounds with just using the smartphone built in microphone. So does it sound better with the lavalier microphone or without? You guys let me know in the comments down below. Okay guys, so that was it. We'll finish off this video with the CK MOVA lavalier plugged into the camera. So the audio you're hearing right now is this wired lavalier. But let me know in the comments what you think about the audio quality. Uh, clearly the unit that I had had in the previous video was a defective unit. And I wanna once again thank CK MOVA for taking care of that and sending out a replacement unit. So the pricing of the microphone is right around $60, I believe. I'll have a link to the website in the description down below if you'd like to learn more about it. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions for me in the future about this or anything else, please let me know. I'll do my best to help out. But that is it. Thanks again, guys. Same with The Blind Life. I'll see you next time.